Hey radio friends, I'm Mike, Kilo Echo Zero Victor India Mike. This is the Traveling Ham. This is gonna sound like it's gonna be a rant, but I promise it's not. My topic is what I am sick and tired of in ham radio. So here it goes. What I am sick and tired of in ham radio is having the options of SSB, CW, and FT8. Okay, CW, SSB, I'm good. FT8, I'm not a hater, but I just don't enjoy it. I, I understand its utility. I understand why other people like it. Fine, I just don't enjoy it. And when that's the case, you got zero other legitimate options for making lots of contacts, being able to activate a park, okay? You get on one of these other modes, sure, you can make a contact or two, maybe two, maybe one. You might be able to make a contact if you can spot yourself and really put it out there and say, hey, I'm trying this mode, anyone wanna talk? You, you might get one. But you're not gonna be able to go out with any sort of regularity or with any expectation of being able to activate either a park or a summit with one of those modes. Even a summit, just getting four contacts, probably not gonna happen. Not with PSK31, not with JS8, not with Riddy, not with Hellstrike, whatever, or any of those other modes. That is what I'm sick and tired of. And here's what I'm gonna try to do to make the change. Here's the first thing you gotta understand with my strategy. I picture a propagation as a Picture like a three-factor Venn diagram, okay? You got three circles kind of in a triangular shape, and where they overlap in the middle, all three, that's where you want to be. What are the three circles? Well, one is uh, conditions, ionospheric conditions, the things we all think of when we think of propagation. What is the ionosphere doing to our signals and how well, okay? That's one circle. The other circle is I call power, all right? That's everything that's under my control. How much power I'm putting out, what kind of gain is on my antenna, is my antenna directional, all that stuff that I am in total control of, right? The ionosphere we have no control of, power I'm in total control of, and then there's the third one that I call participation. And in participation, everyone else is in control of. And that has a lot to do with where my signal is going, who is there, who is listening, will they respond? Okay, so the problem that we have in digital modes is in the participation bubble. Either no one's listening or it's all like JS8, the heartbeats thing just drives me crazy. I'm sitting there trying to make contacts over and over again, calling, no response, no response, no response. Someone kicks out a heartbeat and they get like five responses, all automated. But the reason I think we can change it is because I think we can get that participation up. I think there's enough people out there that want to do this and actually have gone out and tried it, but give up because they can't make any contacts. I believe there's enough of us out there that are interested, at least in some passing in digital modes, that with a coordinated effort, we can get that participation up high enough so that it's good enough to be able to activate these parks if we're all out there at a coordinated time. And then we can we can solve that participation bubble, the, the third bubble that's, that's really our problem there. And you don't have to be a digital expert, okay? I am no digital expert. I know very little about all these modes. So one reason I'm wanting to do this, I'm wanting to learn and get practice. I am just wanting to coordinate the effort to get people on the radio, get people out in the field on the radio at coordinated times to get this going. And I think when other people out there, people who are on the outside now of, of this group, they see all this activity, they're gonna start getting involved too. And word's gonna start getting out that you can, you know, there's guys out there that are, that are getting activations done on digital modes and the whole thing will start to grow. With the ultimate goal being that I could just go out any old day running JS8, Riddy, SSTV, any other strange mode you got in your head, you know, you should be able to go out on any day and be able to get it done 
using one of those modes. That would be my goal. That would be the purpose of our little group. And hopefully it gets to the point where that little group isn't needed anymore and everything's just going on its own. But there's enough interest from people that want to use these modes in particular. There's enough interest in FT8. There's so much interest in FT8. Even if you could pull 10%, 25% of those users away from FT8 on occasion to run some of these other modes, which surely you could, that could generate enough interest. And going through the Parks on the Air program, I think is a great way to get it going as well. There's so much activity in Parks on the Air. I think trying this within that program and having a, a few people, you know, at every coordinated outing, being out at a park will also help get the word out about this activity. Uh, we can just all go out, you know, there could be 10 of us that go out and all talk to each other. Great, you know, you, you get to log each other, but no one else knows about it. You know, with Parks on the Air, people are gonna see spots. They're gonna see people reporting more spots and they're gonna see that activity on the spotting page. And I think that's, I think that's key. They may even tune and listen and, and, and see that it's there and think, gosh, I need to learn how to do this so, so I can get in. Again, the overall goal would be to have this group of however many people, 20 people, three or four are always out in the park. Everybody's making contacts, guys are activating parks getting activity on the spotting page, getting the word out about that, that people are actually using these modes, I think we can revive all of them and grow all those activities, and get them back to some sort of regular usage on a daily basis, or at least a few of them. I mean, for crying out loud, at least, you know, Riddy, PSK, JS8. I mean, that's a natural, jumping point from FT8 would be JS8. Let's do it. So what I'm thinking and what I want your feedback on is how to do this. How formal does it need to be? You know, do I need to collect an email list and send out coordinated time and say, hey, this, this Friday night, we're gonna go out and we're gonna run this mode. And then a month later, we're gonna go out and we're gonna run a different mode. And then the next month we're gonna go out, you know, maybe it's a regular monthly, the first Friday of every month. And we just try a different mode every month. Maybe we just do JS8 for a while until we can kind of get some success and then move on to the next one. Get those, you know, the the, the, the mostly popular, the, the major ones, the JS8, the RIDI, the PSK, kind of get those going on their own. And then we can try the more, a little more niche modes and get those going as well but I think you need the more popular ones, the more popular modes first, just to get some success. So from that, you can breed some more success on these other modes. So what do you think? Is that, is that the right approach? Does it not need to be that formal? You know, should I set up a Discord? God, I hate Discord. Uh. What do you think? I'm willing to do the coordination, the organization to, you know, decide what and when and send that out to a group and uh, you know hopefully the group is large enough obviously everyone's got lives they're gonna have other things going on and can't make it out every time fine but if you had 50 people and you could get 20 out every week that's something that's something so my first attempt last night I just put on my Twitter page I just put on my Twitter page hey I want to revive the digital modes I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna run JS8 call. I had kind of fished a little bit on this topic uh, right around field day when I was running these modes for field day and got a really nice response on Twitter. So I decided to go forward with it and say, okay, on August 15, uh, well, midnight, August 16 UTC, I'm going to go out and operate JS8 call. And I put it out and, you know, I didn't get as much uh, interest on that post, which I, which I expected. But I did, I was able to make three contacts and I'm sure without that effort, I probably would've gotten zero, maybe one. So that's, that's a start, you know, with putting very little effort in it, I was able to get three contacts. So I think with some organization and, coordina and coordination, I believe that we can put this together and we can make it so that PSK, RIDI, JS8, fill in the blank, 
they are viable options. At least there's one or two viable options in there for activating a park. You know that you can go out and run Riddy in a park and get 10 contacts. That's the goal. I think we can get there. There's enough interest in the digital modes. There's enough interest that we can pull out of FT8. There's enough interest in POTA. We can get there. We can get there. So let me know what you think. What are your ideas? Dump them down in the comments. We'll see what happens. I'm Mike, Kilo Echo Zero, Victor India Mike. This is the Traveling Am 73. Okay, folks, here's the deal. I'm at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. This is going to be a special one of the most intense trails. This is the operating station. That's a bear. Wow. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? That traveler has. I just do things. This is a huge, beastly, bulging man. Plates were from Kansas.